I see more of the, oh, how do you do this? I experience more of the thing that I haven't experienced before. My favorite part is when you get to see the finished product. Uh, Kevin had 12 girls, ab about age 12, learn how to program Arduino and outfit a little uh, satellite box like a CubeSat, sent it up in a big helium balloon and collected atmospheric data, um, got video of the Earth. So those 12 girls that, that did that launch last October are now mentoring a new set of girls through this, um, preparing to launch in June. Over the last uh, nine months, I've been working with an all-girls group, and uh, that's been a lot of fun. We've launched a uh, high-altitude balloon up to 115,000 feet, and the girls build a payload, put some sensors on it, and had a blast learning about programming. We're working on launching a weather balloon up into the sky, and we're going to attach little payloads, which are boxes that contain sensors, to gather information about, like, how the pressure and the temperature and stuff like that change. So this is our payload box and right here we have a camera so that we could see when the balloon popped and we could see the curve of Earth and pretty much the whole launch out of this. And then some of our sensors that we used, like this one right here, that measured the pressure and so we could see the different pressures all the way up there and down here on Earth. We also used one where it could tell the temperature which is probably either this sensor or this sensor since they look kind of alike. The first thing that we did was build some uh, antennas out of tape measure elements and PVC pipes so we could find the balloon when we could no longer see it. So like when it's up in the air, we can point our antennas and we can hear the signal of where it is. And then when it comes back down and it par the payload parachutes back to Earth, uh, when it's on the ground, we can get in the general vicinity, but we may not be able to see it because there's bushes and trees or hills. We can use uh, the antennas and we can home in on it. Uh, those balloons are to check like the air going, so how fast the air is. We want like the very little air like it is right now. It's perfect, the air is cooperating. So this is the antenna. We hook it up to this box, which comes off, and we don't get to keep it. But it's basically the thing that turns this on by flicking that, and it sets the frequency on this. So we'll pick it up, and then we hook it up to the walkie-talkie, which is the one who it tells us like all the noise, the annoying noise that we get from the box beacon. So these are the payload boxes, and they have all of our sensors and cameras in here that, like the GPS. We had a really successful launch. The balloon went up and right the direction we had uh, planned for it to go, and it landed in uh, near Thatcher, Idaho, about three miles short of where we predicted, but that's not bad. We got to the, to the landing site and used our direction finding antennas to kind of narrow in on it. found it and when we got to the, the payloads we opened them up and we realized that there was a problem. A few things went wrong. Um, so our camera, um, somehow it got knocked out of place and also our sensors didn't work because they got knocked out of place and so we only have pressure to, as our data. The improvements that we're going to make for the, the next launch is our parachute was all tangled up in the two packages, but we hit 95 mile an hour winds up there in the jet stream. So those boxes got tossed around. Is there something we can do about it? We don't know, but we're going to look into that. And then the other thing is uh, securing the memory card, the SD card in the package, building something to protect that so it doesn't come out, and also uh, looking at our, our payloads again. 
we're gonna go back and fly again. That's what, that's what we do. When stuff doesn't work, you regroup, you plan, you figure out what went wrong the best you can, you try to fix it, and you try again.